a triangle if they're asking us now to find um, the ratio of the angles. So Kaylee, since you didn't um, get this one written down, we'll want to really make sure we pay attention to this. So what I asked you guys was for L or J. I said for J. So what I want to do is find the ratio of sine, cosine, and tangent for my angle J. So what I told you guys was the first, when you see a triangle like this, we have to label our hypotenuse, which you guys should be familiar with. It's always directly across from the right angle, right? So we'll label that hypotenuse. Now, when we did spheroid triangles, we talked about short leg and long leg, right? But they're both legs. When we're talking about using our <coughs> sine, cosine, tangent, we call the legs either adjacent or hypotenuse. And if you guys remember the biggest thing that I did to remember what the hypotenuse was, if you want to write this down again, if you forgot it, was the hypotenuse was always between your angle and the 90 degree angle. I'll say it again if you want to write it down. <coughs> the adjacent side or the adjacent leg. Sorry, the hypotenuse is right there. We already did the hypotenuse. So I'll say, I'll say it very slowly to make sure I have it correctly. The adjacent leg is always between your angle and your 90 degree angle. Okay? So therefore, that's my adjacent side. And your opposite is always directly across from your angle. Just like how the hypotenuse was directly across from the 90 degree angle, your uh, <coughs> opposite is directly across from your angle. So therefore, this is my opposite side. All right? Now remember, that's going to be different when you had to do this for L, if you had to do the sine, cosine, tangent for L. All right? Because L, that would be adjacent, and that would be opposite. So it does change. <clears throat> uh, actually, I think we just had to write in what the angles um, were. So we're going to call this angle. We, a lot of times we use angles. We use the theta, all right? which just is, is just a variable. Um, it's a Greek symbol. And what we want to do is we just actually want to find the relationships. So if you guys remember, <coughs> one thing I told you to remember the stuff was Sokotoa. And this is just an easy way to remember what are the ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine of an angle, <coughs> theta, <coughs> excuse me, is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse. So we look at this triangle. What is my opposite side? Four. What is my hypotenuse? Five. So the sine of theta is 4 over 5. Cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent side is 3. Hypotenuse is 5. And then we have the tangent function. So tangent of theta. Sokotoa. Sokotoa is what we use to remember these relationships, these ratios. OK, so Sokotoa, sine opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over adjacent. Then tangent of theta is going to be opposite over adjacent. So my opposite side is 4, and my adjacent side is 3. OK? And that's all you guys needed for that. And yes, you do need to remember them 